Brian Helgeland offers up more details about his Game of Thrones spin-off that didn't end up moving forward. First airing on HBO in 2011, Game of Thrones adapts the book series of the same name by author George R. R. Martin. The mainline series concluded in 2019 with season 8, and it was announced not long afterward that a variety of spin-off shows were in production, including one called 10,000 Ships, which would follow Queen Nymeria. In a recent interview with Inverse, Helgeland shares more information about the stalled Game of Thrones spin-off. According to the writer, 10,000 Ships would have been a significant departure from the Mothership show, which may be why HBO didn't take it further. Check out Helgeland's full comment below. What is the status of the other Game of Thrones spin-offs? Not many expansions to the world of West Eros have actually moved forward. So far, only one Game of Thrones spin-off has actually made it to air. House of the Dragon premiered in 2022, earning strong reviews and becoming a viewership hit. The spin-off was popular enough to earn a renewal from HBO, and House of the Dragon Season 2 is due out this summer. After a lengthy development cycle beginning in 2021, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight was confirmed to be moving forward in spring 2023. This spin-off, which follows the adventures of Dunk and Egg almost a century before the events of Game of Thrones, just recently got a major update in the form of some casting news. It's now confirmed that Dexter Soul Ansel will be playing Ser Duncan the Tall and Peter Claffey will be playing the young King Aegon V Targaryen. Filming for the spin-off is expected to get underway this summer. While a handful of other spin-offs remain in development, actor Kit Harington recently confirmed to Screen Rant that the reported Jon Snow spin-off is no longer in active development, citing the lack of a compelling story idea. Martin did recently tease, however, that three animated Game of Thrones spin-offs could be close to getting the green light, including Nine Voyages, which chronicles Corlys Valerion's journey across Essos. While it doesn't sound like 10,000 ships will be moving forward anytime soon, Helgeland's latest comment suggests it's not yet off the table. 